Hello everyone, welcome to Mishy Arts. Today I'm here with a very beautiful flower that is favorite of everyone in the world. This is called a rose flower. One of my friend was very much uh, happy to see this flower and she wanted me to teach her. So this is especially for you and all the other viewers who are watching this out okay so this flower is pretty very easy to make and uh, it is it looks very complicated but it's super duper and a uh, very easy flower let me explain you this i have not sewed it totally that uh, because i wanted to show everyone that how easy it is and how uh, it looks difficult so let us uh, start we are going to start with chain uh, okay so what will you be needing we'll, you will be needing a darling needle da darling <laughs> how you can say a tapestry needle you'll be needing a hook and some yarn the yarn of your favorite color whatever you want we are going to start with chain uh, 40 okay so we are going to make 40 chains and uh, start with a slip knot after starting with a slip knot, we are going to make chain 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And uh, let me make 40 chains and join it. Join me back uh, when you have finished your 40 chains. Okay, now when you have finished making 40 chains, you are going to chain uh, more more 3 chains. 1, 2, 3. So it means we have made total 43 chains. Now in the 4th chain from our hook, that is 1, 2, 3 and 4. This is the 4th chain of our hook. We are going to do a double crochet in this 4th chain. And 2 chains. Okay. After making these two chains, we are going to do double crochet in the same chain we did. After making this two uh, double crochet, see what it becomes. It is a V shape. Uh, and in these V shapes, the petals are going to be formed. Like we are preparing to make petals. After making this double crochet, we are going to skip one chain and do double crochet into the next one after making a double crochet we are going to make two chains and double crochet into the same chain okay uh, in this way you are going to continue till the end of your chains okay now one uh, once again leave a chain skip a chain and a double crochet into the next chain Double crochet, chain 2, double crochet. I hope it's clear what you have to do. You have to do a double crochet, chain 2, double crochet, skip a chain and again same uh, pattern will be followed. Come back, join me when you have finished uh, making these uh, blocks or these... Uh, places for the petals I am back with finishing all my blocks or you can say the V stitch so it looks something like this after finishing this we are now going to make the petals the petals are going to be made in the spaces in the two chain spaces we have in every uh, every stitch Okay, so these are the places in which we are going to make the petals. So let's start. We have to turn our work and start doing double crochet into the two chain space we did. We are going to do double crochets. How many double crochets in each block or each two chain space? We are going to do five double crochets initially and then onwards we are going to increase so that our petal becomes a bit bulky. So I have just did the first double crochet, second double crochet, third, fourth and this is the fifth double crochet. 
See, I did five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Now, what are we going to do? We are going to single crochet into the space between two double crochets. Again, we have now the next block. There is two chain space. In this two chain space, we are going to do five double crochets. Three. Four, and this is five single crochet and then again five double crochets into chain two space in this way one two three four five in this way we are going to make the battle still the end of our work but now what you have to do see initially when the rose is a rose flower is closing or rose flower as you see there are small petals in the middle and as it grows it becomes the petals are bit bigger okay so what you have to do you have to make at least one two three four five to six no we are going to make one two three four five six seven seven or eight Okay, we are going to make 8 petals with 5 double crochets. Means you don't have to increase, you have to make 5 double crochets in each till you have 7 petals. Okay, so join me when you have done your 7 petals of 5 double crochets. So now look over here what I have done. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I have made 7 petals of 5 double crochets. Now I am going to make... 7 double crochets or you can also make 6 double crochets 3, 4, 5 and 6 or you can make 7 double crochets so now this will become a bit bigger now what you have to do after uh, 4 more petals you have to make a, a double trouble what is that I'll, uh, double treble? I'll tell you after making these uh, four petals of uh, these uh, six or seven double crochets. Okay. So join me after a while. Now after making these uh, petals we are I'm now going to show you how to make a double treble. And with that double treble you can see the difference of the petal. You have to do yarn over two times and make a double treble over here. How many double trebles we are going to make? We are going to make at least 6 double trebles. Yarn over 2 times. Go through 2 loops. Yarn over again. Go through 2 and yarn over again and go through rest of the 2 loops on your hook. This is how a double treble is made. So we did our five double uh, five double trebles and now we are going to single crochet into the next one. See, this will become uh, a bit bigger. Like in in the size, I'm talking like this is uh, this much, so it will be a bit bigger. So now let me explain you in this pink one. The thing I have done is that after making these, now we have increased our double crochets. After increasing, this is the one I have made with double treble. You can see the difference of the petal. This is a bit smaller and this is a bit bigger. So these differences after uh, like last four or five petals you have to make off um, double trebles. Okay. So now let me tell you how to fold it. See, this is our right side and this is our wrong side. We are going to face right side towards us and we are going to roll it like this. After doing it like this, you simply have to arrange your petals properly. After arranging these petals, you simply have to uh, sew your yarn through the needle
one more tip i want to i want to give you that like when you have you fasten off your work you just have to uh, keep a long tail so that it's very easy for us to sew the uh, rose flower together so now once you have set your flower you have to turn it back and put your yarn through the through your flower to give some stitches so that it fixes or it ties together and it doesn't opens or it's uh, it takes its shape okay so in this way go through uh, any stitches you want it is not far hard and fast rule that you have to follow any sort of instruction just you have to give some stitches so that it fixes see this is the final result or you can also put a stitch in the center if you want that if you want your center part to also be fixed so you can give a stitch over here also and you can also attach a pearl bead over here in the center so that it looks very beautiful now this is what you can use as an applique and one more tip i want to give you i have made these roses and attached a, a magnet at the back of these with a glue gun or with any glue or any adhesive you have and i have made them as a fridge magnet so this is also one of the idea you can use it as a fridge magnet by attaching a magnet to it you can uh, add it in your in your dress or you can use it as a brooch or any sort of thing so I hope you found it useful and uh, do subscribe to my channel do comment and do suggest also please share my video so many other people can also learn from it thank you so much have a nice day